Hi everyone, this is Alex. Let's work it out together why Windows can't log in with your correct password. So this can cause by the Windows updates. What I want the reason is not very difficult to work it out. Just uh, keep calm and uh, give lots of uh, patience to work it out. Yeah. So on your keyboard, hold the shift key yeah and uh, on your computer the screen can you see the power button press on the power button and hold the shift key press on restart yeah give it for 10 seconds or a bit longer hold the shift key don't release it until you see this screen now you can release the shift key and uh, troubleshooting You can reset this PC when you have no choice. So if you tried many steps and it still doesn't work, you can go back here, reset this PC. Uh, of course, there are another option. You can create another user with the procedure of resetting Windows 10 password. I have another video. You can, you can watch it and reset the password. But before you do the other option, let's try the simple way. Yeah. So go to advanced options. So system restore is one of the best choice. System restore. Yeah. The system restarted. I'm using the virtual machine. So it's a bit uh, looking a bit different. Yeah. But the function is the same. So here you can see some option again. Okay. So you can see your user again here. So if you press on user, press on it with your mouse, now you can enter the password. This time the password, in my experience, it should be working straight away. For example, if I type my password, you can check your password, what it is. Yeah, press on this I key. It is correct. Then press on continue. Look, my one is working. So this is the system restore procedure. So just click on next. And I have two choice. Maybe you only have one. So try the one. I will try this one because this is the early, earlier date. So basically, when you do a, tr a computer troubleshooting and you have important data on your computer, you have to be very careful. If you have some critical data, I highly recommend you seek a professional services. But basically, the system restore shouldn't affect your personal data, I mean, your photos or documents. But it does affect your uh, installed program uh, application, yeah? You can scan for affected programs. Yeah, for for me because this is a virtual machine, I can leave this. Uh, so again, it, it shouldn't affect your personal data, and uh, but uh, it might affect the, it should affect some program installed on your computer. So click on next, then click on finish. So the restore procedure can take maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, depend on the performance of your system. It can take even longer. So make sure your computer is uh, not covered by anything. Yeah, uh, give it plenty of time. Okay, so this way should be working. After restore, you should uh, log in properly. If not, let's go back. So if still not working, so go to troubleshooting advanced so basically you have a startup system uh, a startup settings here so click on restart yeah virtual box so now you can choose which one you want to go to basically i recommend you go to uh, 
enable safe mode with networking. Yeah. So basically, I'm going to press on five on the keyboard. Then you can try the password again here. If this way still not working, you can find a Windows 10 password unlock video uh, in the uh, description uh, underneath of this video. You can try to unlock the password. I mean, add another user. Uh, I recommend add another user for the for the troubleshooting yeah so basically that another way to do it is in the startup again so restart this time we will choose the uh, command line so here enable safe mode with command prompt yeah Number six, I'll press on number six on the keyboard. So unlock Windows password procedure is very simple as well, but you need a Windows installation media. You can download it free from Microsoft website. You can Google it, uh, Windows 10 installation media, and make sure it's genuine Microsoft.com website and download from there. Of course, you need another computer to do so. Yeah, if you don't have an uh, other computer or you can't borrow any uh, friend's computer, uh, you can reset this, reset this computer, you know, in the option. So here you can <clears throat> basically, for example, here, net user add, I'm going to add another user. So I call it a test. And the password, I type uh, the part. This here, the star should is a password, yeah. But I type star, star means is asking the password, yeah. Type a password for the user. I leave it as a blank, then no password. Enter, then retype the password to confirm. Enter again. So uh, the command complete successful. Now I got a new user. It's called a test. So, but I need add the new user to the local group local group administrator nothing complicated just to follow the uh, the command line local group add yeah, add test yeah so now the test user it is administrator again and without any password Okay, and uh, let me restart this. Where is my oh machine here? Res uh, not reset, ACP I shut down because this is a virtual machine, so it be strange. But it's lovely. I highly recommend you install a virtual machine on your system. It can be very helpful for testing some program or some uh, purpose okay so once it's reloaded we should say the test uh, user without any password also it is administrator as well because I set the user with automatic login so it should log into the user first but once it's logged in, I will show you the test user is already there and without any password. So this procedure, you can see it in my password unlocking for Windows 10 video. And uh, you can reset this PC and uh, keep all your files. I'll show you the other option. Yeah. So you can see here, click on start. So here, I can see uh, if I sign out, I should see the test user, 
but because this is a virtual machine look this is a test user so it's, it's working now it, it, it has no password so if you don't have the other computer to create a create uh, create another media to do the password unlocking at another user like a test what you can do you can reset this PC click on power button reset hold the power up uh, hold the shift key on your keyboard restart okay then this time we are going to reset troubleshooting reset this PC when you have no choice yeah keep my files but beware yeah if you reset this PC uh, you might lost uh, all the program you installed so keep but if you keep your uh, if you keep your personal files this de this depend you know again if you have important data you should seek you should seek professional help yeah so I'll choose this one so the computer if you back up everything you always have a peace of mind when you're doing troubleshooting when you run into problem I have uh, some friend they have a uh, unit work and the years photos and they can't retrieve it so um, back up to the cloud and uh, or back up to an external hard drive or NAS drive yeah so here uh, it's still asking you the password so the password should be recognized so this fault is caused, caused by Microsoft but unfortunately it's hard to claim anything from them our normal people you know it's uh, not easy we have to fight with lots of problem but the big corporation they have a, a team of a solicitor lawyer or something <laughs> okay so now you can click on reset before you click on this button yeah think twice yeah if you lost anything can you you know all right best of luck i hope this video helped you and uh, already work out the problem for you yeah have a very good day and talk to you next time bye for now